I'm a philosophy teacher and I certainly don't know what's going on with this we're too alone in the universe thing, but I do want to throw out three possibilities because there's only three and I really kind of am stuck with the last one. The first one is there's a government conspiracy to cover up any alien contact we've had, any experience we've had with extraterrestrial life. And I just don't get it. I just don't see it. It'd be so easy to prove just one incidence, one real contact, one real picture of an alien's butt. The government can't even cover up a BJ. The government, granted, has a lot of power, but they don't get away with shit. And covering up a whole century full of extraterrestrial contact and machinery and reverse tech, no, bro, not gonna happen. It, it would have really slipped out, not this bullshit. Oh, I saw a video where a dude had an alien stuck up his ass. No, that's number one. Number two is there's never been contact, but they're out there. And this is the one I have the biggest problem with because I'm kind of like, hey, if I was an alien, first of all, the aliens have to range from low tech to high tech. And if they're high tech, they gotta be going, bro, I need to see what these monkeys are doing. They'd be showing up tomorrow with lawn chairs and popcorn. There's no reason why they couldn't get here. We don't even understand propulsion and interstellar travel or any of that bullshit. We're not even a millionth of the way there yet. Those super high tech cultures would be here like this. They'd be sitting around laughing their asses off. They're not here. Go back to number one. <laughs> Go back to rule number one. They're not here. It'd be easy to prove. The lawn chair would just be sitting there with the little green dude. Probably wouldn't be green. So we're left with number three. And the number three option is there's nothing. There's never been, there isn't, and there's not gonna be. And the not gonna be is the most important part because really I'm sitting here going every day that goes by without green people getting here with popcorn. First of all, they would have already been here. But tomorrow when they don't arrive again, I'm gonna be even more worried about why we're alone. Because what that suggests, this is another video, but what that aloneness suggests is that it's more like an experiment than it is like the reality that we see on Earth. Because our reality doesn't work like that. Our reality doesn't work with these little bubbles. Life gets everywhere. Life is like the worst paint color you've ever had and it gets all over your house when you're trying to do shit and then you have to hire someone to clean it. There's no way that life isn't splattered on the moon, on Mars, coming in on comets and asteroids and hemorrhoids. There, there's no explanation for this shit. So number three, there's no aliens, leads to the conclusion that we're too alone and that's what you should be worried about.